These are the rates at which blacks, whites, and Hispanics of both sexes committed murder in 2021. Please look at the highlighted column, white male, murderers per 100,000. This is the rate at which white men committed murder at various ages. The figure just below the yellow highlight is 5.2 per 100,000, the rate at which everyone between the ages of 15 and 64 committed murder. Below that are murder rates for various age groups. As you can see, for white males age 5 through 14, the number is 0 0.2 per 100,000, which means that only 1 in 500,000 white boys that age killed anyone in 2021. The murder rate jumped to its highest for the 15 to 24 age group and then tailed off as the men got older. Now look at the column for black male murderers per 100,000. As you can see, the rates for every age group are much higher than for white males. Look at the number for black males of all ages in the row next to the bottom. That figure is 64.4. It's 18.4 times higher than the equivalent figure of 3.5 for white males. Look at the murder rates for black females. In 2021, no black girl under 14 killed anyone, but older women made up for it. And when you look at the figure down below for all ages, black women were 65% more likely than white men to commit murder. This is another remarkable finding. Women of all races are less violent than men of the same race, but I've never seen a breakdown of the data to show that in any year, black women were more likely than white men to kill someone. But what's the meaning of the last row of data, projected lifetime? This is the rate per 100,000 for a person of each group to commit murder during his entire lifetime. Remember, Everything else you see on this table is a snapshot for a single year, 2021. What Data Hazard therefore calculates as projected lifetime is the rate per 100,000 to kill someone over the course of his entire life. That's if the murder rates for 2021 continue into the future. For blacks, that figure at the bottom of the table comes out to 4,508 per 100,000 and expressed as a percentage, that's 4.5%. About 1 in 22 would eventually kill someone. For white men in the lower left, it would be 0.27%, about 1 in 425, or about 1 17th the black rate. 1 in 25 versus 1 in 425, that's a huge difference. Actually, these are theoretical maximums. They assume each murderer kills just one person, and we know that some murderers kill more than once. Here's one of how black and white men die violent deaths. Blacks on the left, whites on the right. The colors mean the same things for both races. Blue on the left is suicide, orange is homicide, the tiny gray silver is killings by police, and yellow means cause unknown. The data go from 1968 only up to 2016, which is too bad. But in that most recent year, you can see that about 75% of black men who die violently are murdered, whereas 75% of whites who die violently kill themselves. Again, the number killed by the police is tiny and is about the same percentage for both blacks and whites.